Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Factorio Beginner's Guide with myself and Mr. Avac. Sorry, Count Avacula. How's it going, Count? Going pretty good, actually. Yeah, playing with trains. You know, good times. <laughs> so today we're going to expand on our uh, multiple train on one track setup. And this time yep. we're going to be doing that, including, Oops. as Avak mentioned last time, including covering these three giant iron deposits that are down here that used to be at Stoneton. Now it's been renamed to New Ironton. Yes. So right there now we, we are, we've pushed our walls out a little bit to a company or to a, not a company, what is the term for accommodate, accommodate. to accommodate this larger train that we have. Uh, and we're going to be putting all of the iron ore into these steel chests, just as we've done at the previous uh, iron deposit ch train area thingamahoozit. And there's gonna go onto the train that whatever's available. If there is a train in waiting, cause we're gonna have more than one train on this track, then it will simply be waiting right up here at this loop where there's one waiting right now. So it's doing what it should be doing. It's just waiting for us to finish the base. Yeah, exactly. And this is not particularly a uh, Need some more room setup over there, for the think. loading, but it will do. You don't want any more room over there. <laughs> <laughs> we should be fine. It's it fine. It will be fine. Um, the main thing is to make sure that we're using both sides of the train always, because we are going to be feeding a lot of iron through this particular part of the network. So we definitely want an awful lot of throughput on our uh, on our belts around here. In fact, uh, no, <laughs> we don't want to do it there. We don't want to do it there. What we want to do here is specifically we want to try and split the iron four ways so that each of the four kind of loading areas, if you can imagine them here. So we've got two for each cargo wagon are getting an even amount of the iron that's coming through. Yep, makes sense to me. So the so left the left cargo wagon gets an upper upper arm area and the lower arm area, and they're both serviced by this splitter. And the right mm -hmm. side is serviced by this splitter. Yeah, we'll we'll balance out everything else in time. Now what we're going to need to do is work on the actual loop uh system that we're going to be getting uh for this area now shen did you have any ideas on how we were going to set this up because we've got a lot of areas where we can mine yeah um i was testing around with it we have three giant iron deposits and the two on the left are close enough together that we could probably handle it with one station but i think we're going to do it with with three stops just for funsies okay, okay and uh, cool. i put down some little testing area for just figuring out where we might want to put a station for each iron one just a couple diggers next to it and it looks yeah. like uh, this should be fine for the right side and the left side has similar setups just, just a couple little diggers figure out where the ore is going to come from so i'm just going to lay down some wonderful tracker roos here okay whilst you're doing that i'm going to activate this train so that it can move back and forth to awesome source city and uh, i'm going to ride the train back up and i'm actually going to go and check out old iron pen and see how old iron pen is doing so sure it's doing let splendid. us go awesome uh, source city on the yes. way back you can check the train on the loop make sure that it's actually i, I don't I don't, I don't think i put in the correct name for the station down here uh sure yeah right go there we are man that right, what do you think see. old ironton's up to these days no power yes that train is in fact stuck uh, I believe that old Ironton is probably starting to run out of its iron, to be perfectly honest. It's it's sad. It, it has been a, a workhorse for the Awesome Source Empire for a long time. Are you saying that we're going to have to put it down? I think I think we might have to. Damn it, train. No, you, you scallywag. What Massive happened? Massive levels of scallywaggery. It just left. I literally got here and it's like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. just skedaddled. So now I have to walk like a plebeian. I don't have a car. I thought, it was, the garage. I thought it was plebeian. plebeian Wait, you don't plebeian. have a car on your person? What about a tank? You brought your tank with you. No, my, my tank is in another part of the factory. Alas, I'm stuck walking. Oh, yeah, we did mention uh, we did mention last time that some of the biters have actually regrown. We took out this this Entire yes. area west of our base was clean, and now there's like three or four bases that have popped up since then. 
Indeed they have. Now, it's worth noting that uh, for old Ironton, or Ironton as the name would be, we don't have any chain signals because there's only one train that will ever be operating on this part of the track. So there was no need for a chain block uh, out of the station. And that's, that's the difference with the other stations. Because there will only ever be one train coming down here. There will only ever be one train on the, the in the station or in the block before the station. So there's really no reason to try and uh, work with that. But, yes, it seems that most of Ironton has actually finished doing doing its, its wonderful work of digging up iron. So I'm going to just collect all of these now defunct miners. Uh, it's a sad day. It is a sad day. Barely Wait. any of the uh, iron capacity of the station is now being used. Uh, that's too bad. But you know what? That's that's because we put down how many like thirty miners at the at the site. Far too many. I mean, is I the correct say answer. I wouldn't say it's too many. We mined it out. That was the whole idea. We mined it out. And this is this well, is, yes, I suppose so. This is why tra trains really become viable in this game. As as Avak mentioned, is over short distances, belts are great. But the longer you get, trains are just going to be far more efficient for pulling that ore yes. uh, back home. And as we deplete these sources that are closer to us, we're going to be glad to have our train setup already, you know, begun, so that we can just like delete one station. Like old Ironton's going to be gone. We'll just hook up the mm -hmm. next iron along the way, or the next copper along the way, whatever suits us. We might not actually get rid of the whole place, although I've been shrinking the the actual size of the area. Um just to accommodate the, the the or rather to better reflect the the lower amount of miners that we have there there's no reason why we can't make that some sort of stopover for trains that might be operating at a much greater distance that would pass through sure we could add a burger that. joint or something too <laughs> well what i was thinking was actually keeping it as like a defensive base that's just serviced by a train that maybe brings along ammo or, or that sort of thing but yeah, yeah you could you could do also do that just imagine like uh, some sort of franchised fast food outlet there. Now the base looks good. Uh, science is cracking on very nicely, though unfortunately we have what, what? run out. We've run out of alien bits. This oh. is a terrible day. Sounds like we need more alien cotton candy. And it how, does. How, would, how would you suggest we, we acquire this alien cotton candy? Well, you know that base that's been kind of annoying us? Oh, you mean the new one? Yeah. I, I I think maybe we should we should welcome them in the time honored factorio tradition. Welcome to the neighborhood. The <laughs> yes. Have a cannon shell straight in your face. It's fine. Now the trains are actually uh, stuck at the moment because the the train further down the track has no path. So I'm going to hop in my tank and I'm going to head on down there and I'm going to try and fix that. There we go. Oh, it didn't have any fuel. No, it uh, had no path. Oh, path. I thought you said power. Oh, I'm... No, I'm very sure I said path, but... Uh, no, I just heard you We'll wrong. go with that. We'll, we'll just assume that I said it wrong. I'm generous like that. I heard it wrong. Aha! Did not smack into the train. This is a good day. Train tank collisions are not the funnest things in the world. Is funnest a word? It is now. All right, there we go. I just need to get to this train and tell it where it's allowed to move. And where I don't want to be for that is uh, where the next train is immediately going to come along and smack into me. Right, so, also saw City, New Ironton. Um, oh, New Ironton does look right. Okay. Can it not go? Can it go to New Ironton? There we go. No idea what it was doing, but it's now on its way. Could have just been the name change. Yeah, it could have been. We'll see what will happen here. New train. It should stop there and wait for this station to clear. And then that one will head back over to New Island, uh, to Awesome Source City. Do you I'll actually chance... wait and watch this. Hmm? Do you by chance have some fuel on you? I uh, I do, actually, yes. I've got quite a few fuel blocks, as it happens. Uh, for the iron loop train, I could use some fuel. That's one thing I didn't, yep. didn't factor in here, is there's no fuel source nearby. Well, for now, we can probably just happily uh, deposit... Ooh, I'm about to be attacked by biters. In my tank, I go. 
Come at me, bros. There we go. You brought carapace to a tank fight, fools. Alright, let me come down to your train. We could, for the time being, just um, bring down fuel manually ourselves. Oh, yeah. If it's I fuel blocks, the trains will run issue. for a long time on fuel blocks. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I will drop off some fuel into the fuel into the uh, train you got going. I loop east. Very descriptive name you got there. Yeah, if you want to add in the other stations, it's I loop northwest and I loop southwest. Pom. Right, so I loop. Uh, which one should I go to next? Northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Okay, and then southwest. Thirty at each. Okay. Go ahead. Watch out. It's about to move. Choo -choo. You actually got it, you crazy mad fool. <laughs> I just want to see if it goes to the right distance here. Might have to move these stations to make it fit. Nope, that one looks fine. Okay. I'm going to come over to have a look. The Get wagon is full of iron, so it's not going to fill up right now. Well, it's got... Actually, it's got nowhere to offload the iron. It's kind of right. just going to places where it can pick it up. But yes, eventually we'll get that set up. I love I love your defensive setup. It's like, ah, eh, walls. No. You've got enough laces, you don't need walls. You know, the surprising thing is, though, because when we were testing this out, we we put down a loop, and it was it was looking fine. I put a bunch of lasers at each digging site next to the loop, mm -hmm. and they was never attacked, ever. It's like, it's just not enough of a threat, because there's not much pollution. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They've only got two diggers. In fact, this one's only got one active digger, so it does not surprise me. Watch out! <laughs> don't make me kill you, Shen. You don't make me do it. <laughs> I know. I don't want to be part of your suicide. Thank you. All right. So that train looks like the, the spacing looks okay at the station. And I'm, I'm not going to, I don't think I, I don't think we need a second iron card on it. We could put a second iron card on there for loading and unloading. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it well, with it the one. It is going to be carrying an awful lot of iron because it visits each one of the iron stops first. Before and it drops then off, comes right. to the main area. So, honestly, it could probably accommodate three iron carts quite happily with the amount that it's going to be picking up. But Perhaps. what we could do instead is have it just stop at each station for less time if we wanted to. Significantly or less time. Or we could like have ten seconds. three trains. We could. Yes. That would work. But they... Hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that would actually speed things up because each train would basically be waiting at the station for to the train unload, to leave yeah. the last one. So they'd always be full. All right. So how do you want it, to do the unloading here? Hmm. Well, it depends on the size of the train. Ultimately, uh, I would suggest that it be bigger than than just. Let's assume one three cars. Car. Okay. Well, let's. It's going to be a what, little what, bit more difficult yeah. to place this, but I'll place the train stop around about here then there we go and this one will be i loop central oh my god these guns do so much more damage now i know we have researched quite a lot in terms of the uh in terms of the bullet damage capacity we've got very potent bullets at this point uh do i have any more lights I hope so. Good. There we go. I would like to place down some more lights. I've also got a lot of miners thanks to my trip to Ironton, which was part of the reason why I went there. There we go. All right. So ultimately, what we want is ooh, we seem to have lost power. Yeah, I was just ah, moving so we so we could have an unloading. There was a power pole right here. I had to move it. Ah, right. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, either three or four. Um, cargo wagons. The only thing is, is that we're going to have to make each stop on the loop capable of accommodating however large of a train we make. True. Does... Un unless we just have... Uh, well, yeah. The other option is we could have each stop only fill up one of the three cars. But that might be awkward if um, if one of the... That. If one of the iron pot... If one of the iron resource areas runs out first then mm. you'd have one car constantly empty, which would be silly. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely see how this goes. But uh, for the time being, I really want to go and smack some biters. So yeah. what we'll do is we'll wait for this train to come along. I don't think it's been programmed to stop there. No, it hasn't. We're going to have to jump on it. <laughs> 
Stupid train! Come back. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down here and hope. Oh, I'll catch it. You're probably it. gonna get to that one. Yeah, you'll get to that one in 30 seconds. That won't be an issue. But we could definitely have have it running at like just 10 second stops if we wanted to. That wouldn't be a problem. And it would be able to move quite a lot of all that way. We can we can we can check into that. So have you set it up to stop here now? Yeah, it should stop there after the east, which is the one over there. So uh, it okay. should be right about where I'm standing for the first couple arms. Well, we can easily count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So the bot, the arms need to start to the right of that. There you go. And there we are. Oh, that needs to go the other way because I'm a dip. Now I do not have any chests with me, but we can just map out the arms for now. Oh, I thought um, you had 14 chests. I did. I placed them all down. Oh goodness. I know it's terrible. There we are. We'll need fuel loading to happen around here, I would say as well. Yeah. But yeah, we've got loads of room. We could have quite a few carts on this train if we wanted to for it to unload. But ultimately, um we might want a double buffer for this train. For this station. So that the train unloads into two separate chests. Because I think if we build this up right, because it's got three iron nodes applying it, it will need to go... Um, it will be able to uh, over-deliver the iron compared to how fast we can take the iron from here. It depends. We'll have to see it in action, I guess. Even if, even if we can take it quickly, uh, the mm -hmm. iron processing is going to back up no matter what we do. It's not going to be able to point. unload the train that fully. That is a very good point. Um, very so if that's happening, then putting a buffer here makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Right, I'm off to slay some biters. I actually don't have any explosive shells. That is a shame. I'm going to have to go back and get some explosive shells. Then I'm off to slay some biters. Okay, you two. I'm trying to Do figure out. Do you know where my tank there? is? Do you want me to bring anything along? Uh, I'd like to go kill some biters, really. Do you know where my steel tank is? Is it up chests? there? Do you know if my <gasps> tank is up there? I just, I just smashed an electric pole. Fix it. Because I almost hit the the bloody train. Ah, uh, flippity gibbets. Calm down there. That was, that was very. I, I almost swallowed my tongue. Can you put the pole back? Uh, I, I would love to. But, but I'm gonna need to go and get the, uh, the materials to build another pole. I think. There, I put it down. Okay. I, I think I also smashed a signal. Did I smash a signal? I don't know if you can smash a signal. No, I didn't. Okay, that's good. Ah, oh, my lord. I was quite concerned, Chen. I narrowly avoided the train and then, in my panic, smashed into a telegraph pole. At least the tank doesn't, you know, isn't at risk of destruction from smashing Do you know where the other tank poles. is, by chance? Uh, yes, you can grab that one if you want. I'll go grab the other. All right. Pick up some explosive shells while we're here. Yep. There we go. I'll load this one up. And drop off a bunch of these shells. Wait, where there are the explosive go. ones? I don't think we ever made the explosives. Yeah, we didn't. We, made we just the regular made regular ones. ones, yeah. Explosives weren't really that useful. No, not bad. They're just not, as, not, not amazing. They don't wow you. What will wow me is if I get smacked by the train while I'm traveling along here. We need a better place to put these bloody tags on, my lord. Where did you put it? The other one. Uh, I was ways away. Watch me get smacked by a train, because they can catch up much faster. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I actually oh, no! got hit. <laughs> Shit. Why? Why? Why have you broken our train, Shen? There we go. Wow, that, that tank took a lot of damage. That's all good. It's like two repair packs. Not even one repair pack. <sighs> All right, so where are we headed? To the west. All right, let's go and smack some biters. You know, we've done a lot of building lately. Don't smack into me. Thank well, you, you turned I in know front I of me. I basically, basically booby-trapped you there. I literally turned in your way. That was entirely my fault. But uh, we're going to go and smack some biters. We've done a lot of building lately. Uh, let's just go and kill some stuff. 
I'm not allowed to have fun in video sense. games. It's all business. Uh, that's true. That's true. But we do need to get rid of these ones because they are kind of annoying our uh, construction. Let's get down here. I would like to shoot through there. Thank you. There we go. And back along there. You know what? I'm going to swap to my machine gun. Slay all of these fighters. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yes, I've got a lot. No point in me shooting the big fighters, unfortunately. They are way too capable. Way too heavily armed. Swing down, take you out. Have you managed to. I took out a lot the of the base? big worms. Okay. Uh, I don't think the base is gone, but most of it's gone. Okay, I'll pop it. I basically followed you through and then I ran over everything. Fantastic. My lord. The blue biters actually take more punishment from my main cannon than the bases do. <laughs> that gives you an idea of how powerful they are. I didn't realize running over a big worm would damage the tank so much, but oh boy. Oh yeah, it does. Quite a lot, actually. There we go, and you please. And I'll take these out with machine guns. There we go. And they're dead. Uh, right. That, that wasn't was too fun. bad. It was, yes. How many big worms is that? One, two, three, four, five big worms and a medium. No, no, no. Uh, no, two no, big no. Worms. Two big worms. Two big worms and, and four mediums. Yeah. All right. Well, my tank is thoroughly, thoroughly wrecked. That's what repair packs are for. Indeed. There we go. And we're done. I'm All right, do you want to lay down hole. a flag? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, boy. I should boy. probably reload these with the ammo that I've got in here. Oh, yeah, I'm down to four rounds in this thing. Wow. Okay. Do we want to hit the next base up? Yeah. Okay. Off we go. I'll, we'll do exactly the same thing again. I'll swing past, draw their aggro, then you mop up the bases whilst their biters are chasing me. Oh, wow, where is it? Okay, Straight up. It's ways over there, actually. That's kind of annoying. Uh, it's one down. Switching to my machine gun, going for the soft, squishy targets first. Yeah, let's take out all these guys first. Right, the bite is gonna. The, sorry, the spitters are easy targets, generally speaking. Right, it's the blue biters that are the hard ones. I gotcha. Yeah. Let's repair first. Uh, I'm gonna swing through and smack this again, actually. There we go. Almost got the second one. Almost. I'm gonna do another drive by. In fact, I'm gonna swing up and. Catch these ones that were chasing you. There we go. And again, there we go. It's the another home down. I am wow. out of ammo though at this point. Unfortunate. That's right. All of you. There we go. These guns really not so good. Oh, actually, no, I've got plenty of ammo. I just couldn't see. Yeah. I just okay, ran that's over ton of them. Another one down. <laughs> Right, I am almost out of repair packs, unfortunately. Oh, I've got a lot. Just drive over here. Right up. What I've got a lot of is ammo, though. So if you need some, let me know. Yeah, I need some uh, red ammo. Okay. I'll drop that off in your tank. There you go. Actually, I'll need to take some just for my personal stuff. Uh, right, okay. Do you need some extra cannon shells? No, I got 42. Okay. We have it set to build like 50,000 of them. Yeah, it's true. We're never going to run out. Time to swing up. Ooh, okay, I'm going to give you a wide... Oh, okay, never mind. Ta I'll just go around top. Okay. I'm going to swing up and start smacking their base. There we go. One. Try and take more. Two. Three. Oh, that's gonna happen. Okay, I shouldn't 
drive straight through the bases, generally speaking. It's not a very clever thing to do. Ah, it works pretty well, though, as long as you have health on your tank. That is true. You're very quiet. Man, Sorry. Just falling again. Are you surviving? Yeah. Okay. Sounds like you might be barely surviving. Oh, no, no, I'm just... I'm having a hard time, like, pressing my push-to-talk button while I'm controlling the tank and shooting stuff. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just driving in circles, killing everything. Okay, they've actually managed to get me down to uh, red health on my tank. Not good times. Oh, just drive south again. I'll pick you up. Right up. Hey, yikes. Don't want to hit the trees. Where are you? There we go. Coming to you now. Yeah, it's fun to take out these bases. Yeah, in the tanks, it's actually a lot of fun. I am so messed up. Ah, you're fine. You got like 30% health. You're good. Here we go. Only a little bit of a base left now. And we can uh, take this over. Yeah, I think part of the problem is because our pollution isn't really covering these guys, or if it is, if it is it's just a tiny bit, they're just building up their, their troops and not using them. So when we arrive with the tanks, there's so many of them there. There we go. I do apologize for anyone who's had some trouble hearing Shen. I can hear him relatively okay on my end, but I imagine YouTube's compression is going to mess that up royally. So I've dropped my game volume a lot now just to try and promote Shen's volume. And we'll see how that works. These go. blue guys take a lot of shooting. They do indeed. The spit is not as much so. No, even the biggest spitters aren't that bad. No. They're kind of squishy compared to the biters, but wow, the blue biters, they take a lot of ammunition to put down. You can grab the last uh, alien packs there. Sure. I'll go over here, move these ones up. I'm going to plant then the power pole. Then we to base. Yeah, we got to put this candy back in the alien processing plant. Indeed. We should call it the Alien Research Center, where we study aliens, right, and turn them into science. Yes, yes, and, and don't harm them. It's very ethical. Humane, one might say. Mm hmm. But once we've done that, we're going to have to wrap up the episode. It is going to be that time, I'm afraid, everyone. But, ooh, hello, train. I can see the light moving there. <laughs> once we've done that, then the next episode, we'll probably go ahead and finish off most of the loop stations off camera. Since it's, it's just going to be building up the stations as we've done before. Again, I have mentioned that we'll try to avoid doing too much work off camera, but uh, some things, especially things with um, train stations, that sort of thing, which tend to take quite a lot of work to do, even though it's not complicated work, it's what I like to call monkey work, we'll, we'll try to cut that out where we can, just so that the episodes actually have interesting content. But do let us know! Uh, in the comment section, if you would prefer us to keep all of this sort of stuff in, it would be uh, helpful helpful for us to uh, know your preference. All right, let's drop off the science packs. There we go. Any more? Did this pick any up? No, it did not. That's fine. Oh, we're actually oh, we using the purple research packs too. Yeah, we are. We're using quite a lot of them actually. So there we go. Right, the research will continue with follow a robot count. And when we return, well, that train is still busted up from when you crash into the tank. <laughs> once, we get, once we get robots, they'll just auto repair it all for us. <laughs> yeah. But that's what we will be focusing on once we've got our little loop train system set up. So, uh, yes, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed. As I mentioned, any feedback is warmly welcomed in the comments down below, and we will do our best to answer any questions. But until next time, do take care. Have a good day.